Hey, what's up guys? I'm AvalancheFan133, and welcome back to yet another episode of my NHL 14 Live the Life Be a Pro Goalie Mode. Um, today I'll be facing the Drummondville Voldigers in game number 25 on the season. Uh, I didn't even see how many, uh... Uh, six games have passed since last episode, and we went into a nine-game losing streak, uh, starting there against the Screaming Eagles, and we just lost so many. Uh, last episode was in the middle of that losing streak, and it kept going. So we lost there, lost there, lost there. You can see a common happening is we're only scoring one goal uh, one of these games it might have been there I had a really nice game I had like close to 40 shots against yeah I believe it was that game there and another one was an overtime loss that actually might have been it there <laughs> I'm having trouble remembering and then we finally won just recently uh, two games ago against the Moncton Wildcats at home. And then I had my worst start in quite some time. I didn't like it, but, you know, stuff happens and it just was bad. It wasn't all of my fault. Uh, two of the goals were just my goalie failing to cover it and failing to grab it. One I even knocked in on myself. So it was just a bad luck and hoping to bounce back. Um, I haven't gotten any upgrades. Well, I not too long ago upgraded my five hole one. I'm working on the down low first and uh, I got my shot recovery up and my vision. I'm probably gonna go agility next on that side. And just, I'm really happy with my play so far. After that last game, I dropped my statistics a little bit and raised my goals against average. So, kind of upset about that, but looking to bounce back. 8, 11, and I think 2 is my record. It was so good at the start of the year. It's so disappointing to have it slip up there. Anyways, we got a home game, hoping to win our second game in our last three and put that losing streak behind us. Um, I did uh, change up the gameplay settings a little bit. I still love All-Star. It seems to be the most even gameplay settings, but I bumped the fatigue and recovery up a notch. Uh, I can't play with it down so far because then my players just stay out when they're tired. It's just they need to fix the line changes when playing as a goalie and be a pro. They don't happen often enough and players are playing 40 minutes a game. I bumped up the injury occurrence since it doesn't look like there's any injuries happening. Uh, that's all I did there. I bumped down the face-off difficulty because my team was losing badly in the face-offs. Uh, passing, I bumped up the pass reception ease. Uh, and the scoring, I bumped up the shot power and shot accuracy on everything because I'm just not getting any goals, not even against me. I bumped back down the poke effectiveness and that's about it. Uh, so far it's worked, gotten a few more goals than usual. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, just my team has not been scoring at all. They score one goal and then that's it. Or get shut out completely and that's not going to work. I cannot get a shutout every night. I haven't even gotten a shutout. I've been getting really, really close but just have not been able to get one. And I'm hoping one comes soon. We're 64 and 64 on goals for and goals against. Oh, we had such an advantage early in the year. That's disappointing. We really need to turn it around after that lost streak, and we've won one and lost one since then. Hopefully we can get on a run now, but it's just been difficult. I've been playing very well. I've been very happy with my play. My movement's been good. I've followed the puck very easily and just 
I'm really happy, and I'm really starting to get into this game now more. Already getting to walk in. Just went down and stood still. My uh, defense failed me a little bit last game, but overall it was just a bad luck game. Oh, the pass rung off the post. Thought he was going to beat me there, but luckily he missed the pass. Just really need my team to get on the offense and just go crazy. I would love for a breakout game where we score like six goals. But that has not been the case for a long time. So I, we won our first game... Three to one, I think. I think that might have even had a uh, empty netter in it. Ooh, just got the pad on that one. But overall, two straight games where my teams at least scored two. That doesn't sound like much, but that's a lot more than that's twice as much as I've been getting on that losing streak for goal support. So, I'm hoping they will do at least that, maybe better, and I'm hoping I can play better than last game. Good save there off the, almost a one-timer, but he took a second to control it. But hockey season finally started up in full swing, and I've enjoyed it. I haven't been able to watch the Avalanche yet, but hoping I can get NHL Game Center soon. I really need to get it before the end of October because they have $10 off. But I listened to the Nashville game and it sounded pretty good. Uh, they won that 3-1, to one, I believe, with the empty netter. Very nice. Only two goals allowed in two games. And that's a score for Druin. He hasn't scored in a while, but then he's kind of been our setup man, oddly enough. Even though he's a sniper. Fournier and McKinnon get in on the assists. Slap shot just hits the goalie's pad and still goes in. I've had that happen to me a few times. Good goal. On the board first. That's always key. Last two games, at least, we've allowed the first goal, and yet we've won, a, won one of those. That game we won, I allowed a goal, I believe, on the first shot of the game. And I was upset because if I just had not allowed that one goal on the first shot, just had a redo over, then I could have had a shutout. You never know how close it's going to be. You never really know. So I just got to try to stop everything I can. And I have been doing a good job of that. Overall, I've been trying to get the shutouts, but mostly I've been trying to just get the win because I got to practically, ooh, had to make a save on the rebound and we will get a pwn to kill. But I've just had to try to stop them all just to get the win. Here we go, penalty kill. We've been pretty decent on the penalty kill this season, which doesn't happen very often with the teams I play for. Usually they're terrible penalty killers. I think it, last I saw it was like 88%, but then that was a little while ago. But we haven't allowed anything recently. They've done very good. There hasn't been a lot of penalties overall this season in this game. And I want to see some more, but I have seen a few in the past two games. There was a game tuner update that I hope did a little bit of something to help balance the gameplay. Uh, that was around October 1st. Uh, another penalty, and we will get a five on three penalty kill for 42 seconds. Game misconduct. Ouch. Oh, the face-off win, but the defender avoided the puck. This is going to be 
picked a key point in this game. So far, they're just killing time on themselves. Ah, oh, come on. That's that bad luck I've been having. Or that I had last game, but haven't had for a while. Goes off my defender and in. I got over, was in position, maybe too far to the right. No, I was good. It just deflected over to my left. If I had known, I could have been over to the left more. But you never can know where it's going to go if it gets deflected. One to one, and they still got a four-minute power play due to the misconduct. Someone got kicked out. So they're already one for one on their power play. Hopefully we can kill this one off without allowing anything more. Or being a little more aggressive. Looks like we went for a line change though there. At least it's only five on four. I think we can do this. Ooh, glove save. I will hang on with three red jerseys nearby. 325 left in the power play. 523 left in the first. So the power play will end before the first is over. The thing with, I believe, in the misconduct, they can get as many goals as they want or as they can in this before it just ends on time. Got a little lag there and didn't know where it was. I hate it when that happens. There they come again. Ooh, big rebound, but my defender gets it and clears it. Oh, uh, hopefully this power play will end without them scoring and we can get right back to offense because we have had a long time on this penalty kill. Doing a great job. It more of looks like they're just doing a terrible job on this power play. They're getting it up ice fast, but... Ooh, took a weird route to the puck, but got the save. Quick movement, and that gets out of the zone, yes. Getting close to the end of the power play. No goals on this five-minute five uh, misconduct. Couldn't think there. That's the one on the five on three, but that counted on the first penalty. I don't even remember what the first penalty was for. Having a little trouble getting up the ice now. Oh, I, don't, I think that might have hit my defender. Boy, they love that one-timer from the... Ah! Didn't know where he was going to go with it. They are just... They love that one-timer from the point. That's what I was going to say. And that was just bad movement by me. I should have gotten squared up and just stayed there. My goalie could have had it if I wasn't moving to the right. I couldn't tell where he was going to go with it. Could have went backhand or something. I don't know. This has been a bad first period. Slapped in on the goalie from center ice. Well, they went two for two, I believe. Could have had more, though. And I'm hoping to put those behind me and... Have a good rest of the game, and hopefully we won't get into any more penalty trouble. Ah, couldn't get off the post. Way too late. I got to be faster than that. That was all on me. Dang it. <laughs> Three to one here in the first. It's turning out a lot like last game. But then I don't think I allowed so many in the first period. Rebound, and they score again. Oh, man. 
I don't know why my goalie tried, just did the dive. If I just could have just slid a little more, would have been fine sitting up. But went off the blocker and in. Four to one. And just like that, it is quiet here in our rink. That has been a bad first period. Really need to put that behind us. 16 shots. Either way, four goals. I did not. I don't even want to allow four goals in a game. So, got to just try to stick in there and not allow any more. Hopefully my team can get some offense now. Already turned it over at, in neutral ice. And turned over in our own zone. Got to just concentrate and focus. Oh, screened there and it just whizzed by. We need to get a goal and to get right back into this. We have very limited offensive time with the puck. With all the penalty trouble we went in that first period. Well, with the uh, misconduct and everything. Puck controlled off the draw in the zone. Shoots that one up the wall. Yeah, this is going to be a long game. <laughs> A long, dreadful one so far. Ooh, got across for the glove save. My defense isn't looking too good so far right now. I wish I had some of those goals to retry, but... Ooh, the pass and hit my pad kind of messed up the reception. Come on, guys. We need some kind of offense. Got our first line out there. That gets blocked. And we're not able to recover it. Ooh. I thought he was driving the net, but he just... Blocker save. Just went in behind the net. Uh, I enjoy it when I get a lot of shots, but I'm not happy when I allow a lot of goals. <laughs> it's like any goalie. You want a lot of work, but you want to stop them all. But two things happened last game that I was just not happy with. One goal, I tried to cover. My goalie just purely missed it when he was right in front of me, and they got the rebound and scored. It was really bad. I was upset with that. Just the game. And another one, I tried to cover it. It went through my pads and somehow sped up and went right in. Basically knocked it in on myself. So those two I was really upset with, but just got to move on. 12-16 in the second left. So far, the second's going a lot faster than the first did, with no penalties here in the second. We need to stay out of the box and hopefully draw some penalties, get a power play, maybe get a goal, and get right back in this thing. But so far, they're controlling it. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. They're working it right in front of the net. And it's hard to figure out where it is and where it's going. I'm not as sharp as I had been during the losing streak. Surprisingly, saying that. But still not all that bad. That's turned over. Got the blocker save. Didn't think he was going to shoot that right away, but he did. Good thing I got over. Lewis with the shot. Great save. More than halfway through the game now. Only one goal for us. Four goals for them, and I'm going to hang on to that. I probably could have left that for my defender before grabbing that, but too late now. 
Face off in our zone. We lose it. And the puck squirts through my pads. To make it 5-1. to one. Partially screened, but I don't think that's an excuse when it was down low and my goalie got a piece of it. Just too hard of a shot. Looked like it snuck under that right pad and two straight games of allowing five goals. And this one isn't even over yet. Ouch. That one I couldn't do anything about. Just got to again forget about it and move on. It's tough to, though. Oh, scary pass to the middle, but gets picked off. Well, I'm hoping at least my team gets something and shows life and never quit attitude, but can't really look forward to it too much. I just got to concentrate on my game, do my job of not allowing any more goals. Which I haven't done a great job this game. It's been a sad game, and hopefully this isn't a new trend starting of a lot of goals allowed. Because that's 10 goals in the last two so far. Fournier. I believe he's still our goal uh, scoring leader. Also, this is like my 13th straight start. I've been starting like every game and not had any rest. I don't know if there is an energy meter. Well, there used to be, but I didn't think that did anything in NHL 13 and before, but I don't know if my goalie can actually get fatigued from playing multiple games. I don't think he can, but lots and lots of starts, and I like it, but, you know, one every now and then. Kind of be nice to just let the backup goalie get a start and move along the season a little bit. But I started every one of those games in the nine-game losing streak. Just about done the second, and I kind of wish the third wouldn't even exist. Slapper gets gloved, and we'll get a face-off in their zone. Hopefully, maybe get a quick chance, and then the period will be over. Unless we score. And nope. Took too long. Five to one after two. Not good, but 26 shots against. At least I'm getting a lot of shots to even it out a little. If I cannot allow any more goals, then it will be a decent night if they get the same amount of shots. I want to look really quick. 16 in the first, 10 in the second. So if they get around 10 again, they'll have 36. Yeah. Which won't be too bad. I'm mainly worrying about my save percentage than the goals against average. Because the goals against average is so difficult for me to keep down because a lot of it has to do with my team how they play oh just wide loose that's a high stick oh went off the post a little too fast there and he almost squeezed it by we'll have to kill off another penalty they're already two for three Seven shots in those three opportunities. Not a whole lot of shots, but, you know, it's better than nothing. We've done, I feel like, a good job on the penalty kill. Just too long of penalty time. If that game misconduct was only just a two-minute minor, we would have gotten out of there with 
only the one goal. And this could be a completely different game. But stuff happens. So they come on the attack. That gets deflected wide. The rebound. Easily handled. Perfect position. He couldn't do anything with it. Puck gets knocked back into their zone with about 30 seconds on the power play. This looks like it'll be their last chance, except they go offside. Five to nothing they're leading in the shots this period. Already five. So I may have more than ten this period. Just hoping no more goals. Oh, I don't know where that is. Okay. That's one problem with the puck being directly in front of me. I don't know where it is. And I wish maybe they could make your goalie pads transparent when it goes in really close. I don't know. Some way of telling where that puck is. Because I cannot see it with this camera angle when it's down low like that. Just a thought. But we killed off the penalty. Hopefully we can get a goal or two. I don't expect to come back at this point, but miracles do happen every now and then. Going to just pass that out and keep it going since I got a guy right there. I just want the clock to just keep rolling and get this game done with. Good check by Ashley, and he steals the puck. But he's getting pinned in the corner. Gets it to a teammate. Their defense has been shut down so far. It has been shutting us down, that is. Their offense has a lot more room than our offense has had. That gets deflected wide. Oh boy, he gets in alone and scores. Had to figure out what he was going to do with it, and I guessed wrong or just didn't react in time. That's the second goal that's happened where I just didn't react in time. I could have challenged and went out a little more, but as he was getting in further, I thought he might pull back to the backhand. But he just lifted it over the blocker. Six to one. Goal failed of trying not to allow any more goals. I just want this period to end. This has been an ugly game. But I'll get it straightened out. Just a little bump in the road. Unfortunately, will kill all my momentum of playing well but then that was like nine straight games no not nine straight we did have that one five four I think overtime loss and then again it might not have been overtime but eight of those I didn't allow more than three goals I believe there might have been a four goal game but I think one of them was Maybe an empty netter. Overall, I had a good streak running until last game, and now it's starting a whole new streak this game of allowing five or more goals. 6.22 left. Again, I'm just happy I had a lot of shots. It at least lessens the blow. Ooh, turnover in front, but their goalie comes up big. They've been the shooting type and not so much passing, but then they have done a few passes into the slot. That's turned over. Our defense has not been too great. Ah, oh, again. 
That time I just went down and just stopped moving. Ah, jeez. Basically, silence after that last goal. That's uh, it's been Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, this has been a terrible game. Only thing keeping me happy and looking forward to the future is that I've been so good recently. What a check that was. Somebody's down, down McKinnon. Holding his head. Isn't that oh, interference? Or no, maybe he did that just recently have the puck. No I mean, he got it was close to interference at least. In the third <sighs> the I do not lead. like looking at that it's scoreboard. Unless changing all those settings made it this bad. I don't see it doing that much. I just feel like I've had two really bad luck games. Oh, Druin gets the steal, but... Oh, then he follows the puck and gets the goal. It's his second of the night. And the only two of the night. Unassisted. Helps out stats a little bit. Little too late. Yeah, down by game. five with 144 remaining. Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> they would have to pull their goalie for that to happen. I thought last game was ugly. This one's just top that in every way. Oh, big hit. Going to get a fight or are they just going to push? Push and pull. Oh, no, they're fighting. After the big hit, one of their players comes to the rescue. This is a horrible camera angle. They're at the edge of my screen. Come on, Ryan. I'll knock him down. Show him we're not pushovers. Sure are taking a while. Oh, well. Just shoves him down. I wish it would show the little energy bars or health bars, whatever you want to call them. Oh, man. An injury Huge hit and a fight comes of it. Very interesting. The Moose has a performance in that fight pretty good for a team that struggled tonight as they have. Well, you got to go down fighting, don't you? The coach will love this. I mean, the game looks like it's 50 seconds left. Hopefully I can get the rest of the game off and we can just continually pressure. Every time I say something like that, it completely changes. Like, they just got control and now they're coming down the ice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would probably do that too. Just be in that in real life, sliding across to block the one timer. My defender intercepts it, and I would just yell, out, "Oh, thank you!" Good pass, two lines, two on two on the rush. Nice pass, out all the way to the point. Blocker save goes out of play. Eight point two seconds left in this horrible game. Nine goals total. Seven for them. Good block. Might get a last opportunity. Defense caught up to him, and that ends that ugly game. Well, that's a game to forget. Still had A's. That's messed up. 36 shots, exactly what I thought, but I had seven goals with the two left allowed in the third. It was mainly the first that turned out so badly. But overall, I think it was those two in the third that I really regret them just skating in and beating me one-on-one. -on -one. Oh well, gotta put that one behind me. Oh, for better. <laughs> 80.6, seven goals against average.
four, five, and six on the XP. Not much, didn't expect much. Still looking for that first shutout. I probably mention that every episode. I mention that to myself even when I'm not recording episode. And I would get three straight starts. Night in, night out, wow. Right here. Aye. Uh, and against the Islanders on the road. And, uh, <laughs> I'm a little scared to look at my statistics now, but gotta do it. 2.95. Okay, save percentage didn't go down a whole lot, but then I did have a lot of shots against. At least that softened the blow a little bit. But the goals against average, that went up. And I was hoping to get that near my season expectation, but it looks like I will be between 2.75 and 2. or 3.0 for the end of the season. I did get one of those little notifications about my draft ranking just recently, and it, uh, it said that I was probably going to be in the first round still. But then I was still playing well. Sitting on eight wins. I was sitting on seven for the longest time. Now back sitting on eight after going up one. I was leading in the wins in the league recently. Or not recently, but at one point. Not close, well, getting close to puck control, gonna be doing rebound control. Just gonna be alternating between those two, as usual, like to do that. And yeah, uh, probably around five games I'll play again in between episodes. That should be out uh, Wednesday. And, geez, got a lot of days off. I would imagine it would be one of these. I would love to do it against the REM parts there, uh, since they're 15, 7, and 2, but maybe that would be a mistake. Oh, the Tigers are 15, 5, and 3. Oh, right, we got some tough matchups with our really bad team right now. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it together. That's our second straight game of, well, third straight game, scoring two goals or more. Only one win out of that. But 12 goals in the last two for me. Let's look at our standings. We've dropped a lot. I may not even make the uh, playoffs at this point. We were so good. I guess it was bumping up to All-Star that did the most. But still, shouldn't have done that much to my team and just how we play. I don't know. Uh, anyways, if this maybe continues like this, I might be forced to switch back to pro, but I really like how fast the game moves and how even it is on All-Star. I just want some more goals from my team. Well, we'll see. Anyways, next episode should be out Wednesday again. Uh, I'll post on Twitter if it's not. And uh, anything else I need to mention? I don't think so. Anyways, if you guys like the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. That always helps me, and hopefully I can gain up some more subscribers. Anyways, I'm AvalancheFan133, and I'll talk to you guys later.